Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rand's episode 15 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. That kind of reminds me of um, the end of days. You know, when the four horsemen of the apocalypse come down. Yeah, his brother. Okay. Can you fall in love with someone just for their eyelashes? <laughs> I mean, that's a weird reason to fall in love with somebody, but hey. This is the same girl who fell in love with the guy who has a gun for a head. Oh, the word where's wobble looking weird. Okay. Oh, I already like this one a lot better than the first one. Damn, that means we're gonna have a new ending. It's not gonna be Iris anymore, and I hate that. <laughs> Is he still learning with his right? Uh huh. With his left. Okay, Victor. <laughs> what the hell, bruh? Yeah, that must have hurt too.
Yeah. Honestly, Victor, you seem like that one scientist dude from um <laughs> Flip Flappers. <laughs> Mm. Good question. What is all sense, Brizzy? <laughs> So then, um, no, no, Cody, oh my God, puppy, no, Cody, no, thank you. Yeah. Are you giving everybody neck or something? Because ultimately, he was the guy who we saw several episodes ago who was talking with the bad guys in the cold, right? So, okay, ultimately, yeah, you can't trust Victor, but they don't know that. If I think Victor, okay. <laughs> it's so weird to think I'm here somewhere to close. It's so like that cute. Thank you. <laughs> huh? And you are? Because you were in the opening, too. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> but he's so cute. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait! I didn't think he was immediately going to be the guy from the opening, but damn, he looked nice. Well, at least you want to listen, and then, you know, he can just tell Valcon, and then they'll be fine.
So in a way, it's been passion for generation. Cool. So I mean, if he takes, well, she's specifically taking him, and so, so yeah, in a way, he'll do. He'll be next in line after Valkan passes away. <laughs> is it weird that you know I wasn't expecting this red guy to be a on? I was literally expecting like someone like oh like you know half robot somewhat half human having a robot arm or something that's just me Please, just want to talk to him, that's all. He's adorable, I'm like, oh my god. I'm gonna love him so much. <laughs> My ish, I'm doing that. You. You know, cause. <laughs> others they just want to talk I mean, but we know that ain't gonna happen because he's gonna join eight. Oh, fuck.
<laughs> Wait, no. Uh oh. -uh. We can put that thing down, like. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it supposed to be like a jetpack or something? I'm gonna go make fireworks or some shit. Is it a robot? Oh! So pretty! Holy shit, that's gorgeous. <laughs> How the hell did he make all of them? Like, to have this be shown, like, oh my god, that's a talent. No wonder the captain at third wants him. You know what the funny thing was? I kept wondering why in the hell there were no animals around the whole entire time. Like, ever since episode one, always been on the back of my mind. But then watch him say no, and then eventually, several episodes later, he's eventually going to say yes. He's just going to make us some bullshit saying, like, no, it's not my time, and then episode 20. I'm here. It's my time. <laughs> Please. One, one and done. Mm -hmm. But then eventually you found him, or he found you. And then I guess Giovanni was one of them. Mm, of course. And I'm guessing the one who's ripped off. That's Giovanni. <laughs> Mm. 
so we probably ain't gonna get that backstory until like a long time from now. Yeah, but no, no, no d just stay there. <laughs> you went in there. Okay, so I like Volkan a lot. He's really interesting. I I have a weird feeling about Giovanni. Like, I've, after now learning a little bit more about him, especially with this episode, the connection between him and Volkan. I, it seems like you cannot really trust Giovanni, and I hope that they do a little bit more on both of the connection of him and Volkan's backstory together. But knowing them, like, it's not going to be episode 16. I could maybe stay either 21 through 25, possibly, if you could do it. I'm not 100% sure. You was adorable. That's all I can say. He, he's so cute. He's so short. Like a little baby. You just want to hold him and cuddle him in it. Like, he's just so cute, my guy. Like, oh, I can't. <laughs> like, oh my god. I didn't realize he was that short until you have freaking Iris Arthur <laughs> and Shinra. Like, all these tall characters and his little small. This cute, adorable, small fry is just there. We're like, oh my god. That's how I feel when I look at my short friends. Like, some of my friends, like, we can look straight, like, dead ass, like this, but then sometimes I'm looking, like, all the way down, like that, to the point where I'm, like, hurting my neck. Are they looking all the way up at me, like that? And I'm like, mm, just look at me like this. But, um, mm, I don't know. This episode, it kind of went to a little fast, but at the same time, it didn't. Okay. But since now, Victor. The guy who we saw several episodes ago, which we all know who is the bad guy, um, my word, words Waldo looking dude, I, I still don't trust him. He's here just to really, I know he's, I forgot why he's here, that's the thing, because this was like such a long, a long time ago. It feels like a long time ago, but it was like several weeks ago. Um, I know he's supposed to be, I think he's going to basically um, give feedback to uh show and then his cult so both arrow and i think yuna is his name yuna or yuno um so essentially i mean he's basically doing what the other dude did in the first few episodes for the first part of the series where he was undercover and eventually he was leading those like um insects to make infernals and such so i feel like the infernal stuff is going to still come up in this next following episode but i feel like giovanni is also a traitor. I mean, just the way he looks, and now knowing the relationship between him and Vulcan, and wanting to know that backstory between the two, he could essentially also be working for show. I mean, like I said, literally after the fact is that we found out that a traitor was amongst this group, it makes sense that there could be more than one, and possibly every other group, except maybe even eighth. I mean, like, with eight, with the eighth group there are some they, they have like at first i have maybe one and i kind of have two now and really the more people we have joining this group it feels like i can't really trust a lot of people like i still trust like obi and um dude who looks like leon um i think that's hina uh maki uh Tamaki, uh, Iris, Arthur, Shinra, it's just, I think right now, I don't really trust, I, I still trust Havana, and even though she's not really a part of the team, but essentially she is, even though she's in another group, it's just, I think Victor, Victor's, like, now the number one person who I can't really trust, because that first, I think, like, three or four episodes in, I could not trust Obi, even though I was like, yeah, you seem like a really good guy, but you could be sitting here, like, literally faking, and it, it was, like, a little bit for, um, Kina as well until essentially their backstory came in and how they met and stuff and I was like okay never mind I was like but still you could just be like faking up a lie and going as like mm, 
whatever the heck you want to do. But yeah, I think Victor, as of right now, Victor and Giovanni are the top two people who I cannot trust. It's just something about them. I'm like, especially Giovanni. But we we already know stuff about Victor. But Giovanni, like, mm, kind of want to watch him because he's now like really wanting to kill Fulcon, which is so fucked up. But we ain't really gonna know until next Friday. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 15. Of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 16. Bye, guys.